Hey YouTube, today is Saturday, July 2nd, 2011, and this is the Zero News update on the Mueller Motor Project. Uh, before I get into uh, the actual update status of the project, I wanted to make sure that I took this time to thank the, the, some of you who have sent in some very generous donations to help with the uh, financing of this project. It is really appreciated. Uh, some of, I, I know these are tough times for all of you, and these are not good economic conditions, and uh, <clears throat> Any of the uh, any of the donations that I have received, I really appreciate. I want you to know that uh, I'm I'm not saying this to solicit more donations. I just want to say that I appreciate the ones that have come in. They are going back into the project. In fact, uh, they are financing a new camcorder that I hope may even show up today. Um, it is a HD camcorder, a Canon HF 200. Got a really good deal for it on uh, eBay and uh, I hope to be bringing you some much higher quality videos real soon. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention that I had picked up uh, for the testing of the Mueller motor is a couple of analog ammeters at Cables and Connectors in Newington. Uh, paid way too much for them even with my customary 10% discount but that's okay. Uh, good guys there, and uh, they have the stuff that I want whenever I want it. Uh, that's that's the key element there. Um, all of the uh, all of the coils that I can wind have been wound. Unfortunately, I did run out <laughs> of 20 gauge wire. I underestimated the amount that I would need, and I have eight of nine coil sets complete. I could complete one half of the ninth coil set, but why bother? I uh, need to order some more 20 gauge enameled magnet wire to uh, complete that. I'm going to probably order a 5 pound spool next time from McMaster Car. Last night I also started the, uh, the layout of the circuitry for the driver on this printed circuit board right here. And I will be updating the schematic diagram that I started sketching out here and posting it at altenergy.org. I did make a couple of updates to the website today. I updated some of the uh, stock status of the various parts that I've been using. Uh, unfortunately, Applied Magnets no longer carries the N42 3 8 inch by 3 quarter inch discs. As soon as I put up that link, suddenly they don't make them anymore. Hmm. I, I can't figure that out. Um, so, if you uh, if you want those magnets, you might want to try the uh, the uh, affiliate link that I have for KJ Magnetics. You're going to pay more, uh, but uh, they might have they might have the uh, the size that I used in here. Um, and of course, that's not engraved in stone either. You don't necessarily have to use a three quarter inch diameter by three eighths inch thick disc and 42 specifically to build this project. But uh, that's what I used. And I'm a little disappointed. Uh, the other thing that I did with, with this build last night was I decreased the spacing of the stator poles to the rotor. Uh, it was 5 sixteenths of an inch. I brought it down to 5 thirty seconds of an inch, or just about 0.16 inches uh, as measured with the gauge that you see in this photograph right here. Um, one thing that becomes very evident when you when you close the gap and get a lot more magnetic interaction is that uh, any differences in the strength of the magnets that you use, any inconsistencies, really becomes evident uh, when you when you bring the gap closer. And uh, fortunately, mine don't seem to be too bad, but I can tell there are a couple of spots where it wants to stick. Now that I've got the gap as close as I do. Uh, but with the gap closer and with my 160 turn coils at 5000 RPM, I'm now generating 72 volts peak to peak on the oscilloscope. Um, approximately 24 volts filtered DC under load. And, uh, <laughs> I tried, I tried using one of my DC to DC converters, which supposedly was, would, a, would be able to, uh, handle 24 volts input and I let the magic blue smoke out. So, 
Um, I scrapped it for parts and I have one more and hopefully I won't let the blue smoke out of that one. Uh, what else? What else? Oh yes, um, when I when I spun this up last night, I, I don't have it connected right now, so I can't show you. But when I spun it up last night, uh, the the closer gap also also you creates uh, mechanical forces against the stator plate, and uh, instead of being in null in a null condition where you don't get any flexing. Of the of the stator plate with the magnets close as close as they are, you get quite a bit of flexing of the stator plate, and there's a there's an acoustic resonance of this device when it starts spinning up in the low RPM range that makes this thing howl really loud. Uh, it's kind of kind of interesting. But once we get past that acoustic resonance, then it, it starts to sing very quietly and and very nicely. So uh, I'll be uh, I'll be uh, working some more of on this this afternoon hopefully if not tomorrow on Sunday lastly a couple of you have have asked how the garden is going so here's a here's a quick shot of how the garden is going really happy with the progress of this garden uh, the cucumbers are doing well the beans the beans are doing well I'm starting to sprout some eggplants all of my uh, all of my squash plants have flowers on them right now uh, the the uh, Tomato plants are starting to uh, starting to uh, sprout tomatoes, and uh, I've been eating spinach and kale out of the out of the garden for quite some time, and also looking forward to the the peppers that I have planted. So that's all for now. Zero fossil fuel. I hope everybody has a happy and safe July Fourth weekend. I'll be working more on the movie project, and I hope you'll follow along. Incidentally, uh, just real quickly as a P.S. side note. Um, if you leave comments on my videos that are archived for several days at Justin TV, that's a bad place to leave them. I really don't read them. If you want to leave comments for me, leave them here on my uh, YouTube videos, because uh, if you leave them at Justin TV, I get a notice in the email that, uh, in my email that I've received the comment, but I really don't go back there and look at all those comments because there's just too many videos to filter through. Uh, and uh, read all those comments. So, if you leave comments there, you're doing it only for you, for your own peace of mind. But it really, it really doesn't get to me. So, I appreciate you leaving comments. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the uh, the number of people who have shown up on a regular basis to watch my live broadcasts. But uh, again, don't leave comments there because I'm really not looking there. All right, that's it for now. Zero fossil fuel. Everybody have a good weekend. Peace.